everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do another DIY for you and it's just a continuation on some different gift ideas um, for Christmas. Um, so I wanted to show you how to make a box pencil case or makeup bag. Now a couple of things before we start. Um, this is just my method of doing it so I have done it so that there is a lining against the zip um, so you can see there that there's no, the zip edge isn't on show basically. Um, you can, you don't have to do it this way but I just find it looks a bit neater. Um, and these are a really really great gift to give to people and they're really really quick to make so you can make lots of them. Now on this one I used a quite heavy weight fabric for my lining um, and I, I think it needs a bit more stability so I would I will add in the um, list of things you need that um, some iron-on interfacing or some sew-on interfacing would be useful to attach to your lining. Um, I thought it would be enough and it does hold its shape but I just think once it's got like tons of stuff inside I think it might be a bit too heavy. Um, so I wish I put some more interfacing in it really. Um, but the tutorial is exactly the same as it would be if you have got interfacing or not. Um, so yeah let's get on with the video. So the tools you'll need are some pins, a little bit of ribbon to add to the zip pull, some scissors, a zip, I've just got a continuous length zip, a ruler and two lots of fabrics. You'll need an outer and a lining fabric. Okay so the first thing you need to do is to measure out your pieces. You'll need one large um, rectangle and two smaller rectangles. So I have done the calculations um, for a pencil case that roughly measures 20 centimetres by 8 centimetres. So that's what, how sort of big I want the top to be. So I've just added um, 5 centimetres to each sort of side of my large um, main base piece. So I'm going to cut mine 30 centimetres by 18 centimetres. Um, but for the zip you obviously need either side of the zip. So basically you get that at 18 centimetres and you divide it by 2 which is 9. And you just need to add a centimetre for the seam allowance to attach the zip. So my other two pieces are going to be 30 centimetres by 10 centimetres. You just need to cut the exact same three rectangles from your outer fabric. Once you've got all your rectangles cut out, it should look something like this. Now we're going to make our the zip top first. So we're basically going to be making a sandwich with the zip in the middle. And this is how we hide all the raw edges of the zip inside our pencil case. So all you need to do is cut the zip to the length you need. Or if you have a ready made zip, make sure this is the right size. You're then going to place the zip face down, so right size down onto the right side of the outer fabric and then you're going to sandwich this with the lining fabric on top again right face down. So your outer and lining fabric should be together and your zip should be in the middle. Once you've got your neat sandwich you just need to pin all the way along the zip to hold it in place and then we will sew this together. You'll need the zip attachment for your machine to do this um, and I've just basically used a 10 millimeter seam allowance for this because that's what my zipper foot does. So it's basically sewing just close to the zip teeth. So you don't want to obviously sew the zip teeth but you just want to be as close to the sides as possible. Sew all the way down and do a reverse stitch on either end and then we will do the other side. Also a little tip for you, when your zip gets in the way, um, get close to it and then lift your, leave your needle down and lift your foot up and then you can slide the zip further along and move it out of the way. Now 
Next, you make the same sandwich we did before, except this time the zip will be attached to the other two pieces. So again, outer fabric right side up, and then the zip face down on top of it, and then the lining fabric on top of that also face down, so all the right sides are on the inside. Again, pin this together and then sew it in the exact same way you did before. Once you've sewn your zips on either side, you just need to open it out so you can see exactly how it's going to look. And we're now going to top stitch the fabric down. So this just helps keep the fabric in the right place and it stops the zip snagging on it when you open and close it. So basically how you do this is you pull it apart like shown and you just need to top stitch both sides down um, whilst gently pulling the fabric away from the zip. Again, leave your zipper foot on for this and just sew really close to the edge but not onto your zip. So you want it to be definitely on top of your outer fabric and you're just going to sew all the way down whilst gently pulling it apart. Repeat on the other side, again gently pulling the fabric away from the zip. Once you've finished top stitching it should look something like this. Now all we're going to do now is place the base of our bag on top. So this time the outer fabric which should be matching to the top of our case here should be face down on top and then this time the lining fabric will be face up because if you flip it over it will be the lining fabric on the other side. So outer fabric face down and then lining fabric on top face up. Okay so you're just going to pin all four sides and then we're going to sew it up. Before you take it to the sewing machine just make sure that you've opened the zip part a little bit um, so you can turn it the right way around afterwards. If you don't do this you're going to struggle to open it the right way out. I'm going to sew all four sides on my overlocker. Um, if you don't have an overlocker, then I would just use a straight stitch, 10 millimeter seam allowance on this. Um, just use a straight stitch on a normal machine and then you can zigzag stitch over the raw edge after you've trimmed it. Once you've got all four edges sewn, it should look something like this. And now we just need to create the box corners. So what you're going to do is fold the corner out like a triangle um, and you're going to line up um, both edges from the side and the other side, like these short end sides together. Um, and then you create a triangle with the space in between. Um, and you're just going to measure, mine are going to be five centimetres down from the top and then I'm going to draw a line, mark it with pins and that's where I'm going to sew. Um, just have an idea of what size you want your corners to be because this straight edge that we're going to sew is going to be the height of the box. Um, so depending on how big your pencil case is that's how big you need to sew down from this corner. Um, so just pin it where you want to or draw a line and then you're just going to sew straight across this. So you just need to keep measuring and pinning until all four corners are pinned together. Again, I'm going to use my overlocker for this um, because it cuts them as well as sew them. Um, if you don't have an overlocker, you're just going to use a straight stitch to go exactly on the line that you need. Then you're going to trim the corner off and then zigzag over the raw edges again. Once you have all four corners done, you should be left with something like this and all we need to do is open up the zip a bit more and then you're just going to turn it all the way round to the right side. Mm -hmm. 
And there you have it, your finished box pencil case slash makeup bag slash organiser. Easy. So I really hope you enjoyed that little tutorial. Have fun making some makeup bags slash pencil cases, box pencil cases. Um, if you have any questions for me, please comment below and I'll try my best to answer them. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next week for another video. Happy handmade everyone!